It feels rather strange to be talking about this, but today we're going to be talking about Windows 12. I know Windows 11 is still uh, not that old at all. It is still kind of being fully fleshed out with updates and changes, but Windows 12 apparently is not that far off on the horizon. And today we're going to be looking at an article on Windows Central written by, of course, one Zach Bowden. Uh, and we're just going to be looking directly at this article. Typically, I don't like to do this quite the way I'm going to do it, but there's so much here that I'm going to forget otherwise. I'm just going to show you guys the article. I'm going to need you to click on the link in the description and go to the article yourself and go give Windows Central a click so that I don't feel like I'm taking away from their traffic by doing what I'm about to be doing. But it's the only way that I can communicate this news with you, I think, in a decent way. So sorry for doing it like this. Uh, Zach Bowden over on Windows Central. Headline here is Microsoft Plans Major Platform Upgrades for Windows 12 that will modernize the OS with AI faster updates, and better security. Now, a lot of this stuff for Windows veterans is going to sound like something you have heard before. Hopefully, they get it right this time. They tried this stuff in the past, some of the stuff in the past, a lot of the stuff in the past, and it's not come to fruition. So let's jump into it. Zach starts off by talking about exactly this. For many years, Microsoft has been trying to modernize the Windows platform. Its most recent attempt was Windows Core OS, an effort aimed to deliver modular UWP first OS that stripped the platform of legacy features and app compatibility in favor of being lightweight, quicker to install updates, and much more secure. Windows 10X was Microsoft's last attempt to actually ship this to traditional PCs, and we all know how that went. Now the only place you can run Windows 10X is apparently on your Surface Duo, which is a very, very strange thing indeed. Apparently this idea though is not dead because according to Zach's sources, familiar with Microsoft's plans, the company is once again hard at work on a new project internally designed to modernize the Windows platform with many of the same innovations it's working on for Windows Core OS, but with a focus on native compatibility for legacy Win32 apps, which is a great idea. You can't strip that stuff out. So it's gonna have to be there. So that's actually staying in on this iteration, this attempt to modernize Windows. So this new version of Windows Core OS is just called Core PC, and it's basically supposed to be very customizable and modular to allow Microsoft to have many different versions or additions of the operating system to kind of customize itself to the hardware that it is on. Let's say you're on a piece of hardware that doesn't need Win32 app support, something like their upcoming Chromebook competitors. You can have an addition that doesn't have that stuff. It can be modularly pulled out to make that version, that addition of the operating system, much more lightweight and quicker. Zach actually makes mention of the fact that Microsoft is testing this sort of stuff already internally with the Windows 11 SE version, which is exactly that. It's going to be their answer to the Chromebooks, which have taken such a chunk out of their market share in the education sector. This version of Windows 11 would strip out most of the things you don't need in a Chromebook competitor, leaving only behind the Edge browser, Android apps, some Office apps, just the bare essentials. And this thing's going to be 60 to 75% smaller than standard Windows 11. Now, another big deal with this is something called state separation. If you don't know what state separation is, basically it's where you take the operating system, the drive that your OS is actually installed on, and rather than having it all be inside one partition like your C drive on your Windows PC, you separate it out into a whole bunch of other partitions, a lot of which are going to be read-only, invisible perhaps even to you. And this is the case on OSs like Android. So there's basically a partition that you're accessing with your files and your applications on it. And then there are these other partitions where these modular bits of the OS can live. And these are read only. You can't really get to them. Your apps can't really get to them. This makes everything more secure and it allows you to update things more quickly and more seamlessly. At the close of this article, Zach does spend some time talking about Microsoft's ambitions when it comes to AI, writing, Lastly, I hear that Microsoft is experimenting with a version of Core PC that is silicone optimized, designed to reduce legacy overhead, focus on AI capabilities, and vertically optimized hardware and software experience in a way similar to that of Apple Silicon. Unsurprisingly, AI features are a key focus for Windows going forward into 2024. Expect to see them putting their chat AI is into as many places as they can possibly 
imagine fitting them. Of course, we have seen the little search bar at the button pop up in the latest versions of Windows, which is really nothing more than a glorified shortcut to the web version of chat. But maybe that stuff will actually be integrated into the OS itself very, very soon. I think that's probably a very safe bet you can make. Reading on, some AI features being developed include the ability for Windows to analyze content on your display and provide contextual prompts to jumpstart projects or apps based on the information that is currently being viewed. That is very, very cool. I just talked about some of this stuff in a prior video about the Bing chat in the Android web browser. It being able to see what's on your screen and work off of that using that as context is like a superpower. And when it works, man, is it awesome. So there you go, guys. Again, I encourage you to go click the link in the description to go to this original article, read over it yourself. There may be some things in there that I didn't quite cover all the way, and they definitely deserve a click for this hard work and reporting. Very interesting stuff. It remains to be seen if this version of Core Windows actually makes it into the hands of consumers. Only time will tell on that front. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.